multiple myeloma is a cancer of the bone marrow. A San Antonio man with the disease is one of the first patients in the world to test the new drug to help regenerate bone. Wendy Rigby has the story new at 5. 68-year-old Claude Jamison is feeling pretty good these days. He remembers well the moment four years ago he was diagnosed with multiple myeloma. I fell and uh, they thought I broke my shoulder so they did some x-rays and when they did the x-rays it wasn't broken but they found the cancer. I had no idea. The cancer can create holes in the bones, a major cause of problems in patients like Claude. Now he's helping to test a totally new medication. At the UT Health Science Center's Cancer Therapy and Research Center, he's getting an intravenous drug, an experimental therapy called BHQ-880. It's an antibody designed to stimulate the bone-forming cells called osteoblasts. For the first time, we, as we understand the biology, we think that the primary problem in multiple myeloma is the lack of stimulus for bone formation, and this drug actually addresses that. In other words, the therapy is designed to prompt the body to do what it did naturally before it had the disease. It's combined with a drug called Zometa that decreases bone destruction. Hematologist Dr. Swami Padmanabhan says bone scans on test patients revealed an encouraging find, an increase in bone density of up to 6%. There's no evidence BHQ-880 has any effect on the cancer itself, but improving bone density may cut down on pain and reduce fractures and keep people like Claude active and out of a wheelchair. I'm a Christian. I'm not afraid to die, but I want to live, you know. Multiple myeloma used to have a dismal survival rate of about three years. Recent strides have extended that outlook to 10 years. And CTRC doctors are hoping this drug will make those years good ones. Reporting live, Wendy Rigby, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.